What is a student housing co-op? Current student housing provided by private landlords is often overpriced, poor quality and badly maintained. We are a group of students and graduates working together to provide a better alternative. Problems with private landlord owned student housing. In the current setup, private landlords own the property and rent it out to students through estate agents. Students have to sign a contract agreeing to the landlord's terms and conditions. There are limits to how much students are allowed to personalise their house. In a lot of cases, this means students have to live in soulless houses and are not even allowed to hang up their own pictures. The rent students have to pay is often above average for rent across the city. This rent is the landlord's income. From this income, there will be some outgoings, paying for repairs and estate agent fees, for example. The rest of the income is kept by the landlord as profit. On top of the rent, students have to pay massive estate agent fees and deposits. It is often unclear to the residents where this money goes and how much of it is put to good use. In practice, many privately owned student houses fall into a bad state of repair. A very common problem is damp, but others include insulation of the house and leaking water. Students must report their problems to their estate agents, who in turn report problems to the landlords. This long-winded process means that problems with house maintenance normally take a long time to get fixed, if at all. Frequently, students have to live for extended periods in poor quality housing, and this creates an unproductive relationship between the students, estate agents and landlords. Students normally rent a house for one year at a time and then move on. This means that landlords don't have an incentive to improve the quality of their house because the current residents will be gone soon. Also, because of the high demand, there will always be new students willing to pay extortionate rents for the next year. In university towns, there are often big areas that are filled with hundreds of houses that aren't being looked after properly. In the big picture, the current student housing setup is exploitative, is causing a decrease of housing quality and the solar student houses have a negative social impact upon the local community. What alternative can we offer by working together? Housing owned and run by students. A group of people decide they want to work together to create better housing. They get help from national bodies, like Cooperatives UK, to become an officially incorporated cooperative. Through loans and a mortgage, the cooperative purchase a property they want to live in. Because the co-op is a legal entity in itself, it is the co-op that owns the property, not any of the specific people by themselves. Members buy a £1 share of the co-op, and this gives them the right to live in the house and also the right to take part in the running of the house. Student control over their own house. The house is democratically run through meetings where each member has one vote. In meetings, they can decide on smaller things like cooking, cleaning and how the house is decorated. The members of the co-op are in charge of organisation, but they don't have to do all the jobs themselves. They will be able to employ other companies to help with services like rent collection or repairs. The main difference here between a co-op and a private landlord is that the co-op is in charge and makes the decisions. The companies it pays are working for the co-op, not the other way around. Not-for-profit housing to bring down rent. To make sure the co-op is able to pay back its loans, the rent at the beginning will either match or be lower than the average rent for the city. For Sheffield, this works out as about £65 a week per person. Like before, some of this money will go to paying for services and repairs, but unlike before, any leftover income isn't pocketed as profit. Instead, it gets reinvested back into the co-op. This leftover income goes to paying off the mortgage on the house. After 10 to 15 years, the mortgage will be paid off and the co-op will own the house outright. The rent money left over, after services has been paid for, is now all profit. It can all be reinvested in the co-op. There are a number of options the co-op could take at this point. Rents could be lowered, the money could go towards larger improvements for the house, like solar panels, or the co-op could choose to grow by investing in more property and getting more members. Honesty. The organisation and the finances of the co-op will be completely open and transparent. This means that everyone will be able to see exactly where every penny of the co-op's money goes. This information will also be available for the general public to see, in order to demonstrate clearly how not-for-profit student housing works. Better quality of housing and living. Ensuring high quality housing will be a priority for the co-op, because they are the people that have to live there. The co-op aims to create houses that are enjoyable to live in and feel like real houses. This will be achieved through providing decent sized bedrooms and also making sure there is a large social area as well as a kitchen. Over time, the co-op members will contribute to the house through buying or building new furniture, but also by adding more personal touches like plants, posters or a joint book collection. A community of students who care about where they live. 
the co-op will have strong links within the local community, which could be passed on to future members. Co-op members could have a tradition of helping out with local community projects, like social centres, allotments or libraries. Members can leave the co-op after a year. They simply sell their £1 share and a new member buys a £1 share to replace them. One of the great things about housing co-ops is that they have an evolving identity that is added to by each person who lives there. To create this ongoing community, the members of the co-op will run workshops and talks on co-op living to reach out and involve new members. Undergraduate and graduate students are welcome to stay in the co-op for more than a year, and this would hopefully create a crossover period where new members could learn from the older members. Finally, the co-op's three founding members and a representative from the Students' Union will take part in the co-op's larger meetings and will provide ongoing support. Current student housing provided by private landlords is often overpriced, poor quality and badly maintained. What alternative can we offer by working together? Housing owned and run by students, student control over their own house, not-for-profit housing to bring down rent, honesty, better quality of housing and living, a community of students who care about where they live. Thanks for watching. A quick note, not all landlords are bad people. This video is educational, not legal or financial advice. Views expressed are of the author, Roy Clutterbuck, and do not necessarily reflect the views of Sheffield Student Housing Co-op. Our research reflects student housing in Sheffield. It will be different in other places. Thanks again. Please get in touch. Student Co-op Sheffield at gmail.com.